All right. One. Oh, very good. We have a lot of Bibles. Good job. So you guys have your, you found your spoon, your pencil, your chalk, your Bible. All right. You ready for your next one? Something I hope you're using, even though you're not going anywhere. When you brush. The towel, sometimes it's, you forget to use your toothbrush. What'd you say? Toothbrush? You got a toothbrush? Ted, do you have one at work at church? No, I don't have one at the church. <laughs> toothbrush. <laughs> oh, Kate and Tristan or Reagan. You guys were fast. Very fast. Our bathrooms are in the back room, so. Oh, very good. This is actually, this is my turn. There's Anna and Tyler. Mine has a Tyler. I'm very, Tyler, you're like way upside down. I'm so confused. Nice. Oh, I, yeah. Where'd you get that one at, Kate? You're kidding me. Is that from the I know. Well, where did I get this one from? What is it? Your toothbrush. Uncle Craig. Uncle Craig. Uncle Craig. Uncle Craig's our dentist. We have one like that, too. That's my uncle. Yeah. So, on our scavenger hunt, we've got all these items. We're moving on to the next one. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Something else that I know that Luke has not used, I don't know, maybe even once. For a month, hairbrush. <laughs> hairbrush? Anybody combing their hair? The girls, I'm sure, have to because your hairs are so long. Oh, you have one. Oh, hi. You are speedy. Oh, Anna's got one. Good job. Tyler got mine. Callie's got one. Oh, cool. I like that kind. I like your shirt, Callie. That's cute. Oh, two brushes there. I see. Good job. Pastor Ted had one too. Anna has one. Tyson, are you holding up a brush? No, I don't have it. <laughs> Tyler's running upstairs in my room to get it. <laughs> oh, okay. I have a comb. Okay. I have a comb if that counts. Oh, that counts. Yeah. Your hair's always All right, so but perfect. There we go. Straight in her brush. Good job. I know. I run my hand I run my hands through it in the morning and it's I'm good. Using your hair, right? Good job. Uh, why do I not have Luke on here? I'm not thinking. Um, Luke, we are doing a scavenger hunt. I'm sorry, I should have had you join. Okay, next one um, is a dandelion. This is the only thing you may Ooh. have to run outside and get a dandelion. Get one for me, girls. I don't know where they are. You got, you know where they are. I don't know if your yards look better than mine, but I have dandelions everywhere. What is it? A dandelion. Good. Go right over there and give it to. Um, awesome. Give it to Tyler. Yeah, I already have some. Okay, good. Good job, guys. Wow. Let's see. Do you guys like? Let me see if I can get in front of the camera. Do you like butter? Yes. Yeah. Is it turning you yellow? Do you ever do that? You like rub it, I don't know, under your chin? If you like butter, it looks yellow. All right. We're waiting on Tristan and Reagan. I think Pastor Ted's actually going outside to get a dandelion. Oh, he got one. I know, what's wrong you know, you can make dandelion tea somehow. I think it's it's not from this part, though. From the leaves. Yeah. From the leaves. Do you dry it? I, I don't know. I don't know either. You can also eat the leaves as a, in a salad. Yeah. Dandelion I, greens. Yeah. Please. Did you guys find them? We don't have any in our yard. You don't. Did you just mow? Yeah, you do have some over in your yard, Kate. I bet well, Tyson and Reagan just mowed. We we mow, yeah, but we mow. also we get our yard sprayed for weeds and things like that. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we obviously didn't. Ours <laughs> <have> awesome. <laughs> okay, next, you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Sock. 
What? A sock. Oh, that was fast. You know, you Whipped it foot? right off. <laughs> I took it off my foot. <laughs> Ted has one on his foot. No. Oh, Callie's got socks. I don't have socks on today, but I did find this one. Oh, yeah, there's this one. Kate's got one. It's a baby sock. That's a tidy sock. Whose sock it's a is that? It's um a little girl sock. It's a, it's a tiny one. It's it like a very bright cheetah. Okay. All right, you ready? Next one is we're almost done. The next one is a cup. Can you get a cup? Oh, I have one right here. I have one. Yay, hey, let's go. I actually Does have one this here. count? What? Yeah, yeah. Cup. Okay. You were I have fat. one. I have. One. I had one sitting on my desk, so I'm good, man. No, you I have a cup. Uh, see, Tristan has one too. Yeah, definitely. I have a cup. I have a cup of water. It's mine. Tyler, be careful. Some of these things we're actually going to use for our children's for, for the story time. So you'll be you'll you'll have what you need. All right, ready? Next thing we need is a piece of bread. Do you have bread in your house? <laughs> Kate's Kate's ready. This I'll use one bread cakes. looks delicious, actually. I might have to snack on it. Oh, yeah. And I got a piece of bread. Awesome. We have homemade bread. Awesome. Yes, we have homemade bread, but this is just hot dog bun bread. That works. That works. That works. This is homemade bread. It's homemade oh, bread. Oh, the homemade bread looks good. Callie, Callie's got her bread. Wait. I need a I was too lazy to get it out of the package, so I just brought the whole package. Are you reading that in school, Tyler? Yeah. Yeah. Josh, or Luke started that today, too. The outsider, yeah. Is that, is that yeah. Stephen King? No. No. It's, a, it's, it's a probably Mrs. Hinton. Hinton. All right, last thing. You ready? A bowl. Whatever bowl. Oh. I know, Bo. Oh, Kate, you are so fast. It's in the kitchen. Oh, Anna. Tyler, there's oh, a good picture of a bowl. <laughs> oh, Anna's no, got a bowl. It's a whole bowl full of apples and oranges. That looks Hello. delicious. Now put those back in there. I have one that Callie's brother made. Oh, got everything from one bowl. That's a good one. Can you please make a napkin? All right. Everybody, everybody got all their stuff. Are we still waiting? Tyler has already showed me his bowl. We're just looking at the ceiling right now. I just showed you. I just showed you. You just showed me? Yes, you did show me. All right. So those are all of our scavengers for our scavenger hunt. We're going to use some of these items as we um, do our, our children's story today. Um, and who knows what this week is? And I'm eating. It's like I got a special uh, name. No, what, what? Easter. Easter, what? Easter's this week, yeah. Um, so Easter's on Sunday. Palm Sunday was Sunday. Oh, this is last Sunday. What else is going on this week? Um, Palm Sunday. Last week was my birthday. No, wait, never mind. <laughs> Good Friday. Friday. Good Friday. Very good. good. And then there's another um, another special day called Monday Thursday. And so they call the whole week Holy Week um, because all these things happen. It's the week before Easter. And um, at church this week online, you're going to see two special services if you want to watch them. One is Thursday at 7. That's Monday Thursday. And one is Friday at 7. And we're going to talk about what both of those services are about. And Pastor Ted's here so he can fill us in even more. But we'll start with Thursday's service. So Thursday's service is Monday, Thursday. And how many of you have heard of the story of the Last Supper? Of the last what? The Last Supper. 
Jesus. I have. I've seen Da Vinci's painting of it. Yeah. You, you know, in, in logos, um, in the uh, fellowship hall there, there's a picture on the wall. Oh, hi, Garrett. Garrett's the... Garrett. Hi, Garrett. Hi. Garrett, hi. I don't know what's wrong. I should have had you find a Garrett. Then you would have, like, found it. So, uh, the, oh, we're next door. You would, nobody else would have had one. So the um, Monday Thursday is is in recognition or in remembrance or I'm not exactly sure if I'm saying the right word, but that's represents um, Passover and the Last Supper and Jesus with his twelve disciples. Um, so does anybody know the story of the Last Supper? What happens at it? What do you think happens at it? Callie, what do you think happens at the Last Supper? I don't have a clue. Well, we're going to say supper. So what do you think they do? Eat. They eat. Okay. Any and other I, ideas? Kate? They eat with God. I mean, eat with Jesus. They eat with Jesus. Very good. Any other ideas? They eat bread. They eat bread. Yeah. How many of you have um, been at communion at church when we take communion? And they pass the little cups of um, grape juice and then the little pieces mm -hmm. of bread. That's communion. Okay. So this, this Last Supper um, is similar to that because Jesus has bread and wine, which we have grape juice. So if we, um, if I, if I, I'm going to kind of read part of the story. You can listen along. It says, um, it was the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and the followers came to Jesus, and they said, we will prepare everything for you to eat at the Passover feast. What do you want to have at the feast? And Jesus said, go to the city to a certain man and tell him the teacher says, chosen time is near. I will have a Passover feast with my followers at my house. And the followers did what Jesus told them to do, and they prepared the feast. So this meal was a special meal um, for Passover, which was a very important Jewish holiday. Um, it was the, uh, the celebration of when the, um, the Holy Spirit passed over the homes of the Jews and nobody in their house was hurt when they were leaving, trying to leave, um, when Moses was trying to lead them out and um say that better for me ted uh when they were being led out of egypt, egypt. where they've been in, when they've been slaves for 400 years so it was a celebration that they left and that they yeah. were saved and that they were passed over their house was left untouched so this is their special celebration so jesus says i want to have a special passover with my disciples because they're my buddies they're my best friends and i want them there so they they says um the the followers says they were all eating and jesus said to them at this meal i tell you the truth one of you will turn against me and this made them really sad and each one of them said surely lord, lord i am not the one who'll turn against you so they're eating dinner with jesus and jesus looks around at his friends we lost kelly kind of or at least she's on black right now oh there she is and he looks at his friends and he says, one of you will betray me. He says this to his disciples. And they all said, truly, Lord, it's not going to be me. And Jesus says, the man who has dipped his hand with me into the bowl that is the one who will turn against me. The son of man will die. The scripture says this will happen, but how terrible it will be for the person who gives the son of man to be killed. It would be better for him if he had just never been born. Then Jesus says to Judas, Surely I am not that one. Okay. So it's telling me I'm getting close to run out of time. Okay. So that happens. And so with that, he took the bread and he thanked God for it and he broke it. And he gave it to his followers. So he had his bread. You guys got your bread? Okay. So imagine that Jesus has this bread and he breaks it. And he says, this is my body. Take and eat and remember me. Okay, so on Thursday, Ted's going to have a service 
and you can watch it at home and do this along with him and have communion at home. So we just have our bread. This isn't really holy bread, but it is good bread and it's and, and it tells the story. So he took his bread and said, this is my body, take of it. Then he took a cup, you guys have your cup? And he said, he took his cup and he thanked God for it. And he said, everyone drink of this, this is my blood, an agreement that God makes with his people. The blood is poured out for their many sins. And I tell you this, I will not drink on this fruit of the vine again until the day when I drink it with you in my father's kingdom. And so he shares his bread as his body and his wine as his blood. And it wasn't really his body. Some churches actually believe this is actually becomes his body. And this actually becomes his blood. We kind of, we are more believe it represents Jesus and the communion with Jesus and the sharing of his spirit with us and that we take him into our body and into our hearts. Okay. Now the next day is good nope. Friday. Okay. And who knows what happens on good Friday? Anybody? Not Kate. Tyler, do you know what happens on good Friday? God comes back. No. God comes back until he's God, what? What do you think, Tyson? No. I know. Who says that? Who says that? Anna. Anna? Anna, what happens on Good Friday? God comes back for three days. He didn't come back. That's on Easter. What happens on Good Friday? Where does he go? On the cross. To the cross. Yes. Yeah. Very good. So... Well, on Good Partially Friday, confused. which is, that's confusing because you're like, what's good about going to the cross? But it's good because if he hadn't gone to the cross, because he, was, he wouldn't have come back to life. Yeah. And he goes there for us to show he that this was the plan of God. Right. So on Good Friday, this story is failed in Matthew. Um, it tells the story of how Pilate calls to the crowd. What should I do with this one called Jesus, called um, the one called Christ? And the, the crowd says, kill him on the cross. And they all yell it, all these people who cheered for him on, on Palm Sunday. And so yeah. they take Jesus, they take Jesus and he he has to carry his cross and and he he walks and they they put a crown of thorns on his head and they said, let's um the, the, the soldiers took him and they gathered around him. They took his clothes off and put a red robe on him. Then they used thorny branches to make a crown and they put it on his head and they said, hail the king of, king of Jews. And they spit on him and they made fun of him and they led him away to be killed on the cross. And the soldiers were going to the city with Jesus and they forced another man to carry the cross to be used. And that was Simon. And they all went to it, and they nailed him to the cross, and they threw lots to decide who would get his clothes. And that's where they left Jesus to die. And that's on Good Friday. So, I have two things. Oh, I left out a really important party on Monday, Thursday. On Monday, Thursday, the other really important thing that Jesus did other than feed them was he washed their feet. How many people would like to wash their brother or sister's feet? No. Nope. Not so much? Well, Jesus, back in that time, feet were even dirtier than they are now because people wore sandals on dirt roads. And they got really, really, really dirty. And usually that was the job of a servant to keep the inside clean. And Jesus washed his disciples' feet. And they and first they're like, no, you can't wash my feet. You're, you know, you're Jesus. But he wanted to show them that he was there to serve and to serve them. And that he wasn't there to be their king, but to serve. And that was um, the really good example of when we say we want to be like Jesus, we want to serve, just like mm -hmm. Tyler just served Anna there, some bread or whatever she's got. Apple. An apple. apple. Okay. So he taught us to serve. He told his disciples what was going to happen. And then the next day he was taken to the cross where he was left to die. 
okay? And one of the uh, famous things he's known for saying comes from Luke. Oh, look, it's backwards. You can't read what it says. Oh, it we says, can. Father, yeah, we can. forgive them for they know yeah, not what they do. Yeah, okay, and I have well, we can read it. You it can just read it? reverse for you, yeah. Oh, it is. It is. It looks backwards on my thing. So I have this cross. And what I was going to do is I was going to put a sticker with each of your names on it that came with the heart because Jesus was there for each of you and he rose again for each of you, which is going to happen on Easter. And I wanted to write your names and put them on this cross. So I am going to do that while you guys see the song that we are going to listen to and sing this week at logos now i'm going to let's see screen our scavenger hunt our Easter scavenger hunt for logos and we did it through zoom and we learned a couple things um, one I think that was really fun to have a scavenger hunt Two, that when they say 40 minutes they mean 40 minutes because today they cut us off at 40 minutes um, next time we do it uh, pastor Ted has an account and we can use his and we can do it for longer um, but along with our scavenger hunt today, um, we also learned a couple things about this week being Holy Week and, um, it's Easter and um, hold on. My dog really wanted to come in and be part of us, Nellie. So, um, it's Easter. So we have a nice Easter background. 
And so this week is Holy Week, with Easter being on Sunday. Palm Sunday was last Sunday, and we had two special days, which we talked about during our Zoom meeting. One was Monday, Thursday, which is the celebration of the Last Supper, where Jesus called his disciples to celebrate Passover. And we talked about that in our discussion and how Passover was a special holiday observed by the Jewish people to celebrate their leaving Egypt and how God and the Holy Spirit passed over their houses, leaving them untouched when he went and took the firstborns of all the rest of the Egyptians. So Passover they celebrated and Jesus celebrated it with his disciples. And the things he did with his disciples was he washed their feet with his hands. He took and served each of his disciples and washed their feet. And then he took bread and broke it and said, this is my body. And he took wine and said, this is my blood. So it's a very important um, day, Monday, Thursday, because it's the day where Jesus tells his disciples that he's going to die, that he knows someone's going to betray him. But more importantly, he shows that he came to be among them and to serve them, and that that is the type of king he is, one who serves. And that if we are to be like Jesus, we are to serve along with him. And then when we take communion, and when we take his body and drink his blood, which is not literal, but when we do these things, it is so that we can be in communion with Jesus and with the followers of Jesus, and that we can share his goodness among us, and that we can share the goodness of his blood and his body and his works and his serving with all of us on Monday, Thursday, we will be celebrating that, and you can go online um, to our eatinfbc.org and watch Pastor Ted as he does this service, and you can take communion right along with him with your own bread and your own grape juice or wine for your parents. And then we also will have a service the next day on Good Friday, and we talked about that story, how that is the day where um, Jesus is actually taken to um, Pontius Pilate, who decides that he is going to be um, killed. And he asks everyone, he says, you know, what should I do with Jesus? And they said, kill him. And then um, the soldiers, you know, mock him, and they put a crown of thorns on him, and they make him carry his cross, and they get someone to help him. And eventually he ends up on the cross there to die um, with people mocking him and yelling. But there were some followers there who were silently watching, and his mother Mary was there. And um, when we were talking about this, he, his, he says in Luke 23, 34, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And even in his, his last moments, he is asking his father to forgive all the people who are mocking him and jeering and, and, and calling him names. Um, and we say, why, why would someone do that? Why would someone die for their friends who are treating him this way? Well, that's what Jesus came to do. He came to die for all of us, for all of us so that we can have eternal life and have uh, communion eternally with God and with Jesus and that Jesus and the Holy Spirit will be with us and that we can know that Jesus is there always for us and that we can serve others. And so um, we put the names of you, our Logos kids, on this cross because Jesus went to the cross for you. Um, some of them were in the Zoom and some of, some of you weren't, but you, but you are, your name is on the cross already that Jesus did that for you and for all of us. So these are, um, this is Good Friday and that service is also on, on Friday at seven o'clock. Both services are on seven, at seven o'clock and you and your parents go, can go to eatinfbc.org and watch these services live with Pastor Ted. And you'll know now why these services are, why we have Monday, Thursday and why we have Good Friday. So Jesus dies on Good Friday but spoiler alert, we know that Easter is coming, and we know what will happen on Sunday. But take those days in between to really think about what Jesus did and what he means for you in your life and what it means for us and how we will live and serve. So we're going to end with a prayer, 
I apologize to those who did Zoom that we didn't get a good finish. So this will be our finish, and hopefully you'll go in and watch this. Um, so get your prayer jar out, okay? And um, I think it's a good time to thank Jesus um, for things he has done for you. Um, it could be that he went to the cross. It, it could be that he gave you the best parents ever. It could be that he gave you a beautiful day. But um, in this Holy Week, we're going to take this time to whisper into our prayer jar what we're thankful to Jesus for. So if you'll join me in our prayer. Dear Lord, we are so thankful for you during this Holy Week. We are thankful for your life and the, the stories we learned and the lessons you taught us in the short time you were on the earth. We're thankful for the Bible that we can learn these things. We're thankful that we live in a country that allows us to learn about you and praise you and tell people about you. At this time, we'd also like to whisper into our prayer jars that we have that we're making with our hands right now. Whisper what we're especially thankful to you for. So go ahead, kids. Whisper your special thanks to, to Jesus. I like to allow a little extra time for Tony because he always has a lot to say. And now we're going to take those prayer jars and we're going to send them up to heaven with a big amen. There we go. And we'll finish off, finish off with what we always say, and maybe I can get Mr. Poole to echo me this time. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Goodbye. See you Thursday and Friday, and then again on Sunday on eatingfpc.org.